Hey, what's going on guys? So today is going to be kind of an interesting video. Today is going to be the first step on some changes I wanted to do in the office area for a while. And with those changes, I need to take down the 25 gallon tank and move it outside for the time being until I can figure out where I want to put the tank at. But I think for now, it's going to just sit outside. So this office area in the house, I had two things in mind that I wanted to do with this office. So the first thing was I wanted a very nice like set up for my gaming area slash YouTube editing, you know, section. Uh, and the other was to try to fit as many tanks as possible in the room. Now the room is pretty decent in size, but to have a bunch of tanks and then to have a nice, you know, setup uh, with your computer, um, it requires a lot of space. So initially I tried to cram all of my uh, computer setup onto just one desk. And for the most part, it did work, but I had it on a weird like corner where it pretty much took up like almost like a fourth of the room. And I felt kind of crammed in that area just because of the way it was laid out. So what I want to change is I want to move the computer desk against the wall so that I have a lot more open area in the middle. And it just feels a lot more roomy and that way it allows me to you know put a lot of the stuff either under the table or against the wall um, and away from the middle area so that people can kind of get in and out so with that being said the first thing i need to do is to remove the discus pair from this tank for the time being they're going to go into the altum angelfish tank where it's only those two right now so we're going to have two pair of altums and then the two pair of discus here and hopefully they don't fight. It seems like, you know, they're pretty big where they can actually, you know, defend themselves and they can probably just stay there for a while. So the next thing is to remove all the plants in the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab really everything, pull it up straight up, put it into a bucket, and then when I go to replant it um, later when it's outside, I'm going to go through each stem to make sure I pick the healthy ones, trim off the bad ones, you know, get rid of some of the dead leaves, etc., etc. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just gonna throw it into a bucket and it's just gonna sit there for a couple hours. And the worst part of all of this is removing the substrate. It's like the dirtiest process of any planet tank that you'll ever do. I had to do it kind of slow because I didn't want to splash you know, the dirt onto the wall and it's just gonna be a nightmare to clean. So it took a very long time to remove all the substrate and then finally drain the tank down. So now this whole process took me three to four hours of taking everything down and resetting you know, everything right back up outside in the garage. During this process, I also cleaned all the filters, the pumps, making sure everything is going to be good and strong um, so that it can you know, last long term uh, down the road. Now, after the tank was set up, I gave the tank maybe like an hour or two hours uh, so that it can just you know settle down all the dirt um, and debris in the water columns. Also, I did add in a new substrate or use new substrate um, that I had laying around from you know the other tanks that I had from last year where I took down. I kind of just put them all into like this bag here. So the substrate does have some life still left in them. So I went ahead and just swap them out just because uh, it's been seven months already since the last swap of this tank when I set it up or tore it, tore it down um, in the beginning of the year and I started noticing you know some of it starting to kind of deplete a little bit so I was like yeah I don't want to you know take it down later just go ahead and just do it now it's just be a little bit easier and faster anyways and because I'm using new substrate in the tank it's going to go through a week to two week uh, cycle it always does no matter you know if you put established media or whatnot into the tank I'm using the exact same media that was in this tank and I can guarantee you that we're gonna have a pneumonia spike in this tank and so uh, we'll just wait two weeks and if everything looks fine we'll go ahead and put the discus pair back in or uh, maybe even put the altum pairs in the tank so that uh, you know they might have better luck uh, in a smaller area versus the bigger tank I'm going to see uh, how that plays out now here's a quick shot of my office now kind of against the wall 
it's still a work in progress but uh, you kind of get the idea uh, it's a lot more room uh, that I can work with and you know I could probably you know hang some pictures or something on the wall uh, so it's gonna be pretty cool alright guys I hope you guys enjoyed this week's update if you guys aren't subscribed yet make sure you guys are subscribed and like always until next time guys peace